In this video, I'd like to demonstrate uh, the process of creating a simple pull request on GitHub. This is something that you can, you can read about, but I find working with students and, and other folks that it's much easier to wrap your mind around what's happening if you can see it done once. Um, just as background, if you're not familiar with uh, version control with Git, uh, this video kind of assumes that you know how to use git from the command line and if you don't I would highly suggest this uh, lesson from software carpentry It goes into all the basics of how to use git how to set it up creating a repository and things like that So what a pull request is is if you if you go to github and you find someone's repository and You you're looking through it and you, there's something you want to change or add to that repository um, a pull request allows you to request the owner of that repository pull in your new changes in order to fix a, uh, a problem. So, for example, here I might be going through this repository and I see, oh, this, this word is misspelled right here. There's an extra N in there, right? So maybe I want to create a pull request to, um, a pull request to uh, see, uh, to, to fix that. So the first thing to do in a pull request is you click the fork button and um, you fork the repository. Now what that does is this is going to create a brand new copy of everything in that repository on the GitHub cloud and this is a copy that I own. I can modify anything in this and it will not affect the, the upstream um, repository. This is my own copy of it. So since I own this copy I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clone this using the, um, the standard thing. Um, and type git clone, uh, paste that. And what we, what we get there is now um, we have a copy of this test repository on our own computer. And I can um, uh, take a look at the readme. And yeah, the readme is there and it has that, that typo in it. So let's, uh, let's create a new branch on which we're going to do this fix. So I'm going to do git checkout minus b, which says new branch. And I'm going to name this uh, fix readme typo. And now that I'm on that branch, I can go ahead and open the readme. Um, I'm going to do it, do it right here so you can see it a little better. And um, I'm going to go here and delete that letter. So now it says information save it and now uh, I can look at the status and see that I've, at, I've modified that readme. I can do git um, diff to actually see what the difference is and see that it's only that line that I've modified. So I'm going to um, add the readme, um, commit with the message uh, fix typo in readme and now you can see here that I'm on this, it tells me I'm this on this fix readme typo branch. So I'll go ahead and git push origin fix readme typo. And um, if I did that correctly, I should um, be able to click back over to GitHub once that's all finished there. And it says I've, I've pushed a new branch up there. And now if I click back over here, like magic, GitHub recognizes that there's a new branch there. And it gives me this little green um, button to compare and pull requests. So I'm, I'm going to do that. And now what this is doing is it's saying that I want to take my fix readme typo branch on the right and put it into the test repository master. And um, you, can, you can add whatever message you want here. I'm going to say found a small typo in the readme. And I'm going to click create pull request. Now what that does is it opens in this, in this main test repository thing, it opens in this pull request tab uh, uh, a pull request. So the, the owner can then, um, the owner of this UW SEDS, whatever that is, can click on this and actually see this. And they can see what commits you've done. So I have one commit there and they can actually see where the files change and, you, and it highlights the words right there. So when the owner comes along here and says, hey, this is a, this is a nice, this is a nice fix, um, then they have the ability to click a button that merges the pull request. And I'm going to go ahead and do that because I'm the owner of this, this uh, organization as well. And now that that's done, this, this pull request is merged. You click back on the test repository and you can see that that typo is fixed in the, in the main documentation. 
So that was an incredibly simple pull request, um, but it works for things that are much more complicated. You can modify multiple files, you can um, add files, you can delete files, you can do all sorts of things. And, and this is the type of workflow that drives um, the uh, collaboration on, on GitHub. So thanks very much, and uh, please let me know in the comments if you have any questions.